Hello dear learners, hope you all are doing very good. Welcome to this channel where I am going to talk about 100 questions of psychology which are some general questions of psychology which are useful for UG and PG competitive examinations and general understanding of psychology. Let's quickly discuss all the questions. We have total 100 questions in this PDF and you can receive this PDF from our Telegram channel. The link you will find in the description box below. Let's begin. Question number one, what is psychology? It is the scientific study of mental processes and behavior. Question number two, who observes and records that how people and other animals relate to one another and to the environment? They are called psychologists. A broad field that explores a variety of questions about thought, feeling and actions is known as psychology. Systematic assessment that providing information on political views, customer buying habits and many other topics. It is called survey is a technical term in psychology which is known as survey. Otherwise also you must have heard about it. An examination for which average level of performance have been established and which has shown consistent results is called standardized test. You can also understand it as a definition of standardized test. Question number six, psychologists use which test to help to measure abilities, aptitude, interest and personality traits. These are standardized tests again. Which test yield clues to a person's inner feelings? These are projective tests. Projective tests take out your information from your unconscious. Which helps a psychologist to discover as confirm cause and effect relationship to in behavior? These are called experimentation. A cause and effect relationship is always and always established in an experiment. So the correct answer is experimentation. Which method enables scientists to test a theory under controlled conditions? Now, this is again experimental method. So, you can also understand what all happens in an experimental method. The origin of psychology are often traced to the ancient Greek philosopher who was chiefly interested in what the human mind could accomplish. Now, the correct name is Aristotle. Who believed that the mind or soul was separate from the body? Again, the answer is Aristotle. The word psychology comes from the Greek word, very important question, that is psyche and logia. The word psyche means mind or soul and the logia means study. So together they make the study of mind or soul. Which philosopher described the body and mind as separate structures that strongly influenced one another? Correct answer is René Descartes. The belief of Descartes that people were born with the ability to think and reason is called? The correct answer is nativism. Nativism was rejected in the late 1600s and early 1700s by a group of philosophers called empiricists who began the first systematic studies of sensation and perception, John S. P. Mueller and Hermann von Helmholtz. When was the first systematic studies of sensation and perception began? In the mid-1800s. Who was Hermann von Helmholtz? He was a German physicist and physiologist. Who founded the world's first psychology laboratory? And the correct answer is William James. When was the first psychology laboratory founded? It was in 1875. Psychology laboratory was established in Germany in 1879. Who established psychology laboratory in Germany? Wilhelm Wolf. He is also known as father of psychology. Who published the first journal of experimental psychology? Again, Wilhelm Wolf is the correct answer. Whose works were marked? The beginning of psychology as a distinct field from philosophy. These are the two names, William Wundt and William James. From the late 1800s until the 1930s, psychologists developed four major schools. What are they? You should know these the names of the schools. These are the major four schools of psychology. Structuralism, Behaviorism, Gestalt Psychology and Psychoanalysis. Structuralism grew out of the work of which one? So, for structuralism, William James and their associated work. The structuralists primarily used a method of research called introspection. This introspection method comes under structuralism. When was behaviorism introduced? In 1913, very important question. And again, question number 32 is also very important. Who introduced behaviorism? John B. Watson. Very popular name in psychology that who introduced behaviorism is John B. Watson. Who was John B. Watson? He was an American psychologist who believed that observable behavior was the only reliable source of information. Severism spoke about the term behavior. So John B. Watson and his followers were the people who believed that observable behavior was the only reliable source of information. 
whose work influenced behaviorist movement Ivan Pavlov who was Ivan Pavlov he was a Russian physiologist the learning process by which a response becomes associated with a new stimuli is called conditioning now this is a definition of conditioning what conditioning is exactly is the learning process by which a response becomes associated with a new stimuli name the american psychologist who gained much attention for behaviorist ideas during the mid 1900s he is bf skinner he was also a behaviorist which book of bf skinner describes how the principle of conditioning might be applied to create an ideal planned society walden tool is the name of the book get stalled psychology developed as a reaction against structuralism is the correct answer the german word gestalt means pattern form or shape it is the meaning of gestalt who believed that human beings and other animals perceive the external world as an organized pattern not as individual sensations this was the thought given by gestalt or also we call them gestalt psychologist quote the familiar sayings which expresses an important principle of gestalt movement the whole is greater than the sum of its parts for example let me explain you this for example if you look at any object you see that it is definitely made up of many things so the whole is always greater than the sum of its parts if mathematically you understand you will also understand that so that was the uh, statement given by the gestalts when was gestalt psychology founded it was about 1912 and who founded that max werdimer who was max werdimer he was a german psychologist when was werdimer and two colleagues brought the gestalt movement to the united states in 1930s when did psychoanalysis was found in 18 Hundred late eighteen hundreds and in early nineteen hundreds, and who did that? Austrian physician Sigmund Freud, very famous, very popular name. You must have heard about the name. Psycho psychoanalysis was based on the theory that behavior is determined by powerful inner forces. The repressed feeling can cause personality disturbance, self-destructive behavior, or physical symptoms. Who developed the method called free association? Sigmund Freud, because it comes under psychoanalysis. through which method the patient relaxes and talks about anything that comes to mind while the therapist listens for clue to the person's inner feeling this is called free association like, like the name the free association means something it is completely free you are free to express your thoughts then this method is known as free association which school of psychology helps the patient to understand and accept repressed feeling and finds ways to help them with them that is psychoanalysis which group of behaviorist believe all behavior is a series of response to different stimuli that is stimulus response school a group of psychologists who believe that there is more to human nature than a series of stimulus response connections that is cognitive schools which school of modern psychology developed as an alternative to behaviorism and psychoanalysis that is humanistic psychology as you are seeing the name you will get this pdf on the telegram channel through the telegram channel so you can also understand as the major statements if you want to understand about cognitive school you can see the question as a statement of cognitive school moving on to question number 58 now to help people to function effectively and fulfill their own unique potential is the aim of humanistic psychology the chief professional organization for psychologists in the united state is american psychological association to which we also call apa in short where is the headquarter of apa it's in maryland Abnormal psychology is the scientific study of psychological disorders. Abnormal psychology is basically what where psychological issues are studied. The field of abnormal psychology is sometimes called psychopathology also. If you have ever heard the name of psychopathology know that this is associated with abnormal psychology. A kind of case study that describes the behavior and thought pattern of one person is called ideographic study. Name the study which examines the behavior and thought pattern common to many people who suffer the same disorder that is nomothetic study theories of abnormal psychology is described they describe mental illness they also suggest their possible causes and propose certain methods of treatment the theories of abnormal psychology can be divided into four schools or four main groups which are they biophysical intrapsychic existential and behavioral Which theory emphasizes the importance of underlying physical causes of psychological disturbance that is biophysical theory when the problem is associated with our physiological function then it comes under biophysical theory which are the two main groups included in psychological disorders or disturbances medical condition those related to use of drug or medication which theory focuses on the emotional basis of abnormal behavior that is intrapsychic theories 
this talks about that the person uh, suffers from the problems which are already existing in their intrapsychic part which theorists believe that conflict is in early childhood cause people to worry to have other unpleasant feeling throughout life that is intrapsychic theorist what is the term used by psychologists to describe people who sometimes behave abnormally but can usually cope with everyday problem they are called neurotic the people who can uh, who sometimes behave abnormally but they can manage their problem by themselves individuals who lose track of reality are called psychotic there is a difference between neurotic and psychotic uh, neurotic are people generally able to handle this problem generally but neurotic a psychotic cannot some psychotics believing in very unrealistic ideas they are called delusions these are the false belief psychotic things perceptions such as hearing voices or seeing visions are real they are called hallucinations which treatment is often used to help neurotics and psychotics to understand and resolve their conflicts and anxieties that is psychoanalysis in which technique the patient talks to the analyst about whatever thoughts images or feeling come to mind this is called free association it is a part of psychoanalysis which theory of abnormal behavior stresses the importance of current experiences and the person's view of himself or herself these are existential theories which theory of abnormal psychology emphasizes the effect of learning on behavior simply when the term behavior or learning comes it is obviously associated with behavioral theories behavior is use a learning process to change abnormal behavior this is called conditioning through which process behaviorist treat disturbed people by teaching them acceptable behavior patterns and enforcing desired behavior by rewards and punishment this is again called conditioning in ancient time disturbed individuals were sent to dismal institutions which were named as insane asylums these were the specific places where uh, disturbed people used to be sent which book of amel caraplain a german psychiatrist classified various mental illness according to their specific types of abnormal behavior that the name of the book is right in front of you copidium der psychiatry clinical psychology is what the scientific study diagnosis and treatment of people who have psychological problem it is done through the clinical psychology branch clinical psychologist chief activities are what do they do testing diagnosis psychotherapy consultation and research which is the clinical psychologist chief tool in treating mental disorder that is psychotherapy this is also known as the uh, way to treat mental disorder what is the important goal of clinical psychologist understanding and preventing mental disorders comparative psychology is what the study of uh, of differences and similarities in the behavior of animal or different species what are included in the study of comparative psychologists about the principal behavior pattern of animals communication learning migration orientation reproductive behavior and social behavior which study of comparative psychologists is the sharing of information among animals this is called communication which study of comparative psychologists concerns the going of gaining of knowledge that is learning what is migration travel of large group of animals or also can be used for human beings as well which study of comparative psychologists consists of the ways that animals position themselves in reacting to light here and other faces that is called orientation reproductive behavior concerns the mating habits of animals and the way they care for their young which study of comparative psychologists consists of group activities such as the flocking of birds that is called social behavior now what is developmental psychology the study of changes in behavior during lifetime many developmental psychologists specialize in the study of children or adolescents which are the four main theories of child development that psychologists use in research on the behavior of children maturation theory psychoanalytical theory learning theory and cognitive theory which theory of child development states that the chief principle of developmental change is maturation especially of the nervous system that is maturation theory according to maturation theory what is meant by physiological ripening that is maturation and now the last question is a leading american supporter of maturation theory who found that the growing child's behavior seems to follow a set developmental pattern that is arnold gesell so this was it for the day hope you would have understood the content and don't forget to receive this content from our telegram channel and if you have found this video useful please subscribe to the channel and keep supporting like you always do see you super soon in the next video till then take care bye bye